Yo, what's up? Welcome to the Ant-Man channel. It is Saturday night, the 27th of December 2014, and I'm your host, Ant-Man, and I'm coming at you with this breaking report. It is from WND.com, and it is under, um, you know, his front page article, uh, just published seven hours ago by Greg Carambos. So, I guess this came off of a radio program that they ran. What Crystal Ball says about Obama's final two years, Larry Sabato predicts massive insurrection in nation's capital. Let's get into this one, right? <clears throat> the 2014 midterm elections were largely a referendum on President Obama, and Republicans should expect him to push more on unilateral action over the next two years to avoid political battles with the GOP Congress, according to University of Virginia political science professor Larry Sabato. Sabato directs the school's Center for Politics and Sabato's Crystal Ball, which very accurately predicted the Republican gains in the House and Senate. By the time all races were decided, um, excuse me, <laughs> Republicans had picked up nine Senate seats to set up a 54 to 47 or 46, excuse me, GOP majority. Come January, the GOP also added 15 House seats and will soon hold a 247 to 188 majority in that chamber. So why did Republicans have such a good year? Sabato said to look no further than the other end of Pennsylvania Avenue. Midterm elections inevitably are a reflection of the popularity or unpopularity of the White House. Remember, it's all about turnout. You always have a low turnout with midterm elections, so you always ask which side is more energized. Well, clearly Republicans, where they were angry at the White House, they had a long list of grievances after six years, said Sabato, who noted that Democrats didn't turn out their vote for a predictable reason. Democrats were not excited anymore. Uh, the bloom is off the rose, he said. That actually that usually happens in, in the sixth year. It doesn't always happen, but it usually happens because they... But uh, because by then the partisans of the guy in the White House realized that Nirvana will not be occurring. You're not going to have all of those promises fulfilled that were made in the original election. And they have the radio program here. Uh, I'll go ahead and post the link up for you on the uh, description if you want to go check it out and listen to the radio program on the um, article page. As a result of the GOP controlling both sides of Capitol Hill, Sabato said Republicans should brace themselves for Obama's attempt to change policy unilaterally as he did on immigration in November. Yes, this will be an interesting two years, he said. I think there will be an, a fair number of executive actions, executive orders. Uh, there will be uh, all kinds of things that, will, that he will do independently because he knows he's not going to be able to give anything substantial through Congress. Uh, while debates continue over the constitutionality of such moves, further executive action by Obama is likely to come on issues that will please the uh, liberal base of the Democratic Party, but infuriate Republicans as, and many independents. Um, that sets up a curious situation for the 2016 Democratic nominee, who most expect to be Hillary Clinton. Sabato said Clinton will try to run on her husband's record from two decades also, uh, ago, but that avoiding Obama's unpopularity will be virtually impossible. The nominee of the inc uh, in incumbent uh, president's party has to bear witness for the, incum the incumbent uh, president's actions, he said. If the incumbent president is very unpopular at election time, it's awfully difficult to win that third term. For the next two years, Sabato expects little more than gridlock. And he said the issues most likely to spark fierce battles are fairly predictable. Immigration is won, clearly. Republicans will try to defund some of what Obama, President Obama, had in his executive order. Obviously, the Congress is going to try and turn back Obamacare. They realize a full repeal would just be voted, and they don't have enough votes to override a presidential veto, said Sabato, uh, who believes progress might be made in repealing specific Obamacare provisions. Provision, provisions? <laughs> Uh, such as the medical device tax. <laughs> in addition to battles with Obama and congressional de Democrats, GOP leaders may also find themselves at odds with members at their own party, of their own party and grassroots activists expecting bold conservative action. Sabato said this will be a delicate dance for incoming Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. The solution is to find a certain number of things, for example, a trade pact that both houses and the president can agree on, Sabato said. You get four or five of those things done, you're able to say, you see... We weren't just the party of no. We weren't just refuting. 
or refusing to cooperate, we accomplish these things. At the same time, you have to keep the base happy, which means maybe you have votes on abolishing Obamacare. Of course, Obama would veto anything like that, um, but it would excite, excite the base. It would provoke, it, or it would prove to the base that their voice, votes excuse me, mattered and that they're being heard. Of course, Congress will only have a few months before presidential politics grind most major legislative efforts to a halt, and the media and the experts begin to focus on the 2016 field. Sabato said, he and the crystal ball will be ready. We're polishing it. We're getting it ready for the next cycle, he quipped it. Yeah. Um, lots of people out there that are good to listen to. I, did, I never heard of this guy, but, you know, Gerald Salente uh, comes on the Alex Jones show a lot. He's also a trans journalist, and he's one of the best, probably the best out there. But, yeah, when you see a president's tendencies, thank God for Dinesh D'Souza. He's one of those guys that... He breaks down the psychology and the worldview of what of, of he. I mean, thank God for him seriously because he sheds a lot of light on that, and and where Obama came from and what kind of people he's always been around, and that's how you know you know what 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 to expect next because yeah you can see how he's operating and it's not it's not by the Constitution, and um, probably the the enemy's greatest you know tactic right now and it's working and it's crazy I think because. All he's doing is undermining things that are true, undermining law, undermining uh, pretty much anything that he can to just, you know, coerce, you know, power. But, hey, um, you know, we, we, we see his, his moves, we see his, you know, that he's clearly um, a puppet with, with, you know, clearly a puppet for people who have an agenda, most likely, um, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to run for a third term. Or maybe not. Maybe he'll just use, like, maybe he'll try to set it up perfectly so that, you know what I mean? Like, he'll stay president. And what I mean by that is, like, like something false flaggish. You know what I mean? Something, like, for him to declare martial law on. And, um, yeah, he actually, man, if I'm not the only one. And I'm not the smartest one either, my friend. But I do know that, uh, <laughs> you know, like... It seems that, you know, he's he's that type of person, man, that he would do that. And um, I just, I don't know, man. It, it's, it's, it's weird that I even feel, you know, kind of hesitant to say stuff like that because I know how the general public is with shedding any light on any type of deception. It's always, it's always negative, but you know what I mean? It's, you got to tell the truth. And, and obviously, you know, Obama is not a transparent president. He's not, um, he's not for our old... Uh, fashion values, if you will, he's he's fundamentally transformed America, and he's trying to do it more and more all the time. So I don't know. Beware, beware, man, because you know he's, um, you know, I guess I sound the trumpet on that. The first video I ever made was impeach Obama. It was a, a video as a response to an Alex Jones video that he wanted everybody to make a video called impeach Obama. Everybody should make one, and I did. And that, it led to me doing this channel all the time, just always reporting these these types of issues. Um, again, politics and all, that's not going to ever solve all our problems. All of our problems will be solved in Jesus Christ, of course. But these things are worth uh, taking a notice on for the matter of being prepared for it. Because if, you know what I mean? Um, I forgot who said it, but he said, somebody, you know, one of the founding fathers, somewhere around there, he said, I don't believe in a future that will happen no matter what we do, but a future that will happen if we do nothing. And that's exactly what you could, you could see the signs and the warning signs and whatnot. And um, I'm not telling you to be a hardcore doomsday prepper or, you know what I mean, like hardcore paranoid, you know, waiting for the end to come. But the fact of the matter is, is that you got a issue and it, the, the issue is at the heart of government. The people at the very top are out of control, and, um, if that scares you, that sucks, you know what I mean, like, then you'll never let the truth, you know, really sink in, and you'll always reject it, and you won't ever, you won't, you won't ever do anything about it, and, and that sucks, man, I really feel bad for you, because you're gonna suppress the truth, and, um, you know, don't feel bad for me, because I, I, I think about this stuff, and I report it, and it doesn't bother me, I don't worry about it, but I feel bad for you if, you can't even talk about these issues because they're controversial or because you just don't want to admit 
president's corrupt. 